Hello there guys, welcome back to the eBike Repairs YouTube channel. My name's Dash and today what I've got for you is something a little interesting. This is a Paradox Kinetics battery. Uh, it's like a backpack battery with a long bit of wire. Um, that goes to a big XT90 anti-spark. Now it looks like perhaps it might have been it might have been sparking just a little bit. However, serviceable probably. It's just you know it's a bit charred. It's probably not quite that bad. Uh, no stickers anywhere on it. Uh, what have I got else? The case is damaged here. Screws that hold it together, they look to just be two screws, perhaps. No, two on each corner. One, two, three, four there. And the problem with this one is the cable's stuck. Stuck in here. I'd imagine it's all meltified and stuff. What I think I'm going to end up doing is putting an XT90 lead out of the pack through the same hole and getting rid of this port uh, because it's damaged and here's an XT60 which I believe is used for charging. I'm not 100% sure as to the specs on this battery. I think they are 48 volts something or other. Wow, that's just a wood screw. Not that there's anything wrong with that. A screw is a screw, but... Fair enough. Four of these. One in each corner and you've got to flip to get the last two. The screws are a little damaged, the heads on them, where uh, I think they've been out before. But still quite usable, it would seem. Okay. What fun and games have we got under here? Well, that's been cracked for a while. There's, uh, there's evidence of sort of rusty in there. Um, what have we got? Oh, wow! Someone soldered the battery together. <clears throat> okay. Well, that's new. The reason I say it like that is that usually one doesn't solder a battery together. Usually one uses a spot welder and nickel strip, as you might have seen in some of my other videos. This will provide probably a very good connection. High current. This looks almost like they've just used solder wick. You know, I think they have. Wow. I don't really like that that much, to be honest. Um, or desoldering braid, you might call that. Oh, it's filthy. Isn't it? That cell looks dead. That one looks dead. We've got a, a something there. I don't know what that is, but we've got it. Okay, and there's the pack out. Casing seems nice. It's obviously custom sort of injection molded. I'd imagine there's you know glass fiber reinforcement and all sorts of things in there. I don't see any sort of stamps. But the mold looks nice. It's fine. All the screw ports aren't snapped. So that's cool, that's fine. What we've really got to work with is, uh, I'm not blowing our fingers up for one. What's going on with the pack here? So cell wise, are these Sanyo cells? Is that what they are? B, it says B. There's a little QR code on them. Don't see markings. Oh, here we go. Sanyo CH. That says Sanyo CH. Probably very hard for you guys to see that. Uh, yeah, probably can't see it. <clears throat> right, so this might be a smart type module because I'd imagine there's TX, RX, and power. The battery controller S516 version 2.1. This looks unsafe. Um, right, so charge port. We've got charge port connected to C minus on the board, just there. We've got positive connectors to the just the main positive lead there. 
L plus that says. And the other positive goes to here, which probably runs in the board somehow over to here, I'm sure. And then our negative out to the discharge goes to L minus. And our negative in from the battery comes from here, which is five. That's B minus, that makes sense. Um, five. This is 5 divided by 6 cells. I wonder if that means 5, 2, 6 cells. Start from top, so the negative here. At the negative. Probably. Uh, is on cell 16. Well, this will be. Oh, that is wired in a funny fashion, isn't it? I'm sure it makes perfect sense the way it's wired. <clears throat> now the negative is this white wire here, no yellow wire, which goes to here. And these ones are going through the pack. They must be temp sensors over here, that's what these are, because they're, they're drilled. Sort of inside the pack there. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Yep, temp sensors. Okay, that's fine. Excuse me, sniffling. I'm a teeny tiny bit unwell as current sensor port. This looks cool. I haven't encountered one of these balls before, but looks fine. Looks like it can beep and everything. Possibly it has an app that connects to it. Um, <clears throat> right, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 wires, which I suppose makes it a 12S pack, as long as this black cable here goes to the same place that our positive appears from, which is here. It does. It looks as though it does under there. Right, so we should be seeing... 12S is a bit of an odd voltage, <clears throat> That's more like a RC car voltage. Normally, e-bikes for 48 volts use uh, 14, uh, 13 S. Sorry. Not there's anything wrong with that. It's just it's different. It's just fine. Let's have a little look at our cell voltages. See what we're working with. So that should be there, and that should be there. Forty-eight volts, something like that, across the pack, which probably means it's fully charged. Should be looking for around four point two volts for fully charged. So four volts there, four volts there, four volts there, four volts there. Show me voltage. There you go, four volts there. Four volts there. Four volts there. Four volts there. Four volts. Four volts. Four volts. Four volts. Great. Now that's good stuff. The, the numbers have been scraped off these chips, which is evil, because that means you can't fix it if it breaks. You make you buy a new one. Don't like that. Quite clearly been scraped off, or sanded off, or something like that, which is. Yeah, that's not great. And we're looking at a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5p pack. I don't like the way a lot of this is looking all crusty, but I guess that's none of my business. 
it works, it works, right? <clears throat> what I've been tasked with is... Ooh. Getting this XT90 out. And hopefully replacing the port. This looks like it's probably a... Just a regular XT60 in this side, this one's easier to see, that's just been push fit into here. And instead of the leads being soldered on long ways where they come out, they've been soldered on sideways. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just remove this port, make this into a hole, and then have the uh, an XT90 come out that plugs in, as opposed to trying to replace what's in there because. If this has happened once, it could well happen again. Okay, right, I've got my big uh, 100 watt. Cool, it's not focusing anymore, that's fun. <clears throat> Try that. Got my big 100 watt soldering iron heated up. I'm going to desolder the positive lead of this discharge port here, which for a 90 amp connector, barely even soldered on. Um, so it feels like it was perhaps a little overkill. That should now be quite safe because I'm only working on one side of it. Uh, I suppose the best thing for me to do would also be to desolder the negative side here. And then... Just take this entirely away from the pack. Now, can you get it out? One would assume it's meant to come out. I'm going to put this in the vise, I'm going to hit it until it comes out. Well, um, that's not meant to do that, is it? The entire outer of this has gone. It looks as though solders crept up it or something. I wonder if what happened is it got so hot that the solder that was in the back of the connectors somehow flowed and actually soldered the two halves together, perhaps. Because this is what I'm left with on the other side is, you see the original connector I think it's been just about eaten away. I don't know if there's a lot of that connector left. Um, find a pick here. I don't know if there's a lot of that connector left at all. And then here is the outer that should have been on the on the other side. So I don't think this is going to come out in one piece. I really don't. Just so fused in there. Oh, no. Maybe. Some glue of some kind in here. It's been glued in by accident. I mean, I say by accident, it's been glued in without knowing that it shouldn't be glued in. Don't know. Don't know if there's going to be much leeway to be had in grabbing it with pliers. No, it's just going to come apart with pliers.
Hmm. Or maybe it's whatever epoxy they use to set this. This is like a, a hard epoxy here. Perhaps that's gone off and caused this. It certainly looks like glue to me. It's not the same material as everything else. Yeah, no, this isn't going to be reusable, I don't think. Um, what I'll do then is I will find a way to remove this completely, whether that be big drill bit, die grinder, whatever. Um, hopefully, I can get rid of the epoxy from the back, and it should the entire thing should pull this this way, I assume. Um, or that way, one of the ways, anyway. We'll uh, we'll have a look at that. That's what I think I'll do, and then I'll put a new. XT90, one of those, uh, on a lead coming out of this same hole and then seal it up and we should be good to go. Thank you very much for watching, if you like this kind of thing please feel free to like the video, share the video, leave a comment, um, got a members thing or subscribe to the channel. Bye bye.